What's up, guys? It's Brian from Hash for Hub. It's about 9.17 p.m. Eastern Time, February 27, 2018. Uh, we got a brand new trading video right here on Bitcoin. Uh, but before we get into it, as usual, if you're new to us, please hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. We got lots of great technical analysis, uh, Elliott Wave Theory information going on here. We also got giveaways once a week. We got giveaways. So make sure you comment there. Uh, on our YouTube videos and if you guys are on Steemit and DTube thanks for all the support there and if you're not you guys should get on to Steemit and DTube links are down below would love for you guys to subscribe to us there and upvote a re-steam would also be greatly appreciated so let's get right on into it uh, Bitcoin where do we leave off last I don't know so much going on today um, I think we left off we were somewhere around here uh, that kind of makes sense to me. Kind of makes sense somewhere around here. Yeah, so um, we called out this um, support level on a one-hour basis of 10,480. Uh, the market has come down and kissed that level. I think it got down as low as 10,478.56. Um, so pretty much pretty much got it right on, uh, right on the nose right there. Market came down, kind of, you know, kissed this level, and it kind of moved back up again. And I'd like to change this level. I want to change this level. It's, it's, the market has continued to move up here a bit, and I'd like to move my level up as well. So let's move this level to, um, let's move it to 10,575. Okay. Uh, this is where this is where I think possibly this new level can uh, should sit. And this this level is a is a is a hidden support level. It's a level in which obviously can can show some hidden support. It's also a level where it can be a low risk entry to the upside. Although I would not I would not um, recommend that here right now. Um, it's not a trade that I would take right now. Uh, it's also a place to indicate when the um, uh, you know trend is reversing, going from bullish to bearish. So those are kind of the basic uh, the basic uh, ways. Uh, well, the next basic way really is to go ahead and put in uh, stop losses. So it's a great place to to start layering in or laddering in your stop losses depending on your risk tolerance. So. We're kind of in this like uh, channel, right? So we mentioned this level here, the 10,852 level. I mentioned that quite some, some time ago. I think it was actually even before, you know, during our first video before this even ran up. Or I think this candle was actually running up during our last video. And this line was here from videos and videos and videos ago. Um, and so literally this landed pretty much this got as high as 10,850 so yeah so it, it basically hit 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 our line and turn around and uh, and 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 came and came back and turn around and came and came back this is a tweezer formation uh, as far as candle uh, candle uh, you know analysis is concerned and the market you know this next bar came down quite quite nicely came uh, came down to our previous our previous uh, um, low that we had before and so now we're looking at a level of 10,575 now this doesn't mean these hidden support levels don't mean that the market has to come down to this level it doesn't mean it has to come down to this level it means that if it if it were to come down it's probably going to come down and stop somewhere around this around this level or there's at least going to be some sort of congestion right around right around this level so, and it's also a great level for, for, for trading activity. It's just a great way to, uh, you know, save profit, um, especially, you know, obviously if you're on the long side and the, on the short side, you know, obviously we can start drawing these lines too. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the, those are the major ways to, to go ahead and use that. So one of the things I'm seeing here is, is, is lighter volume. I mean, volume has been falling off quite, um, you know, quite steadily okay um, 
And as far as candlestick analysis is concerned, is that this right here is pretty bullish. What I would like to see is this candle here, the body of the candle, to, 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 to move up more. Um, so there'd be very little wick left. Um, but you know, this is if if that's the case, and this is this is kind of this is kind of a, a kind of a, it's a pretty bullish uh, formation. It the, it would be more bullish if there was almost no wick or very little wick. Okay, and then obviously it would be it would be more bullish. But you can see here how things are coming down again. Look at this. Somebody's selling this. You saw how this thing just jumped down. All right. So yeah, this is turning from bullish to bearish. Um, and that was my that was that was what I was thinking. What I wanted to tell everybody is that I didn't think that this is gonna. I don't think that this is gonna run up in any great in any great fashion in order to go ahead and get above this right here. I truly do think that we have a one, two, three, four, five, and that's pretty much over. And now we're gonna have, gonna have some sort of ABC correction. That's what I believe is going to happen. There could be a chance where this does peak up. You know, um, and then come back down again. But I don't think that I, I don't really think that this is the time to go about doing that. I still think we still have some time to uh, some time more to to correct. I know that there is other uh, technical analysts out uh, out there that are 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 saying saying quite the opposite. That they're really you know beating the drums as far as you know bullish run buy 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 buy. Um, I'm I'm far more I guess maybe conservative and cautious um, I've always I've always been with my trading and it's just always seemed to, it always seems to work out and so you know on a one hour basis I'm actually thinking that things are gonna turn that things are gonna uh, turn down um, I would not be surprised if we get right through this 10,575 level and come down below it um, I would not be surprised. So, what would what would we look at next? The next would be the four-hour basis, which we're still holding around ten thousand two hundred and forty on a four-hour basis. And you can see what's going on here too, right? So, um, you know, you have you have um, uh, you know your regular RSI right here, right? And then you have um, you know, oh, sorry, the regular RSI right here where you have the top right here. And this top, the next one is not is not really all that much lower than it, but 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 as far as RSI is concerned, it's 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 much lower than it, and that kind of shows me that, you know, it maybe not as bullish. There's, there's obviously some 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 divergence there, right? Um, just just a touch to to say the least, but there is definitely something there. So the next thing I want to take a look at is I want to take a look, take a look at Laguerre RSI and Laguerre RSI back here said to sell off. Right, that it's that it's turning down, and there's going to be some sort of, um, uh, you know, um, sell-off or, or or correction. So now it had it had run back up again. Never got into oversold territory. Never ever got into oversold territory. It went back up again, based on this little wave up, and then now it's coming back down. Right, it came it came back down again, and so now this is looking like it's going to turn back down. What I did do is I took the channel that I drew back here, okay, and I'm extending it every day. I'm extending it more and more because of the fact that it just seems to continue. This 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 channel tends to sh tends to continue and show uh, significant you know uh, movements in in RSI. So you could see here how this came up. It bounced. It bounced. It bounced off of it. It came back up. Bounced off of it. It came back up. And now look. It's looking like it's having a hard time trying to stay above the top of this line. All right, so that's what I see. What's going on there on a four-hour basis? Um, let's just look at the four-hour chart real quick. You know, not much really else really to say uh, as far as four-hour chart. And we were saying it before. You know, as far as RSI is concerned, you know, similar things going on here with the channel. You know, this is still on overbought territory in the Laguerre RSI. Uh, so I'd imagine that this will possibly turn down um, maybe any candle now. Um, I don't really think that this is really going to continue to move up. I could be totally wrong. Don't get, you know, don't get me wrong. It just doesn't. There's just something in my gut that just says no. Uh, not now. Uh, right now. Right now is just not the time. Maybe it's because of the low volume. I'm not really sure. This uh, maybe it's another thing, another another reason why possibly if I'm tr trying to quantify this for you guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to quantify my gut feeling. 
my gut feeling that I basically honed since about 19, oh man, about 1997, 1997, 1998, all right? It's my, my gut feeling ever since then that I honed through all sorts of crazy times when I'm pulling my hair out, you know, saying, why, why, why didn't I get it right type of thing, okay? And, 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 and so I'm trying to quantify that. So another reason maybe why maybe my gut doesn't feel so good about this whole thing is that this, this is quite impulsive, right? This is quite, this is a very strong, um, you know, motive wave. Okay. Um, you know, yeah, they can be stronger. Don't get me wrong, but the bullish, the bullishness section of it is like super bullish, right? It's like, uh, it's straight up, you know, I mean, here, look, up, 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 right? And then, then there's kind of like this sideways, you know, uh, um, a momentum. And then here, this bang, like right out of the gates, you know, then then two smaller uh, up candles, which I'm not, it shouldn't really even, even really count as far as being up, but it's pr primarily part of this kind of channel that's going back and forth, this sideways momentum that's going back and forth. So, you know, it, it kind of leads me to believe that, yeah, there's some bullishness around. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely some bullishness around. But people are still weary. I still people think people still are weary. And I remember I did some time analysis some time ago. And everybody was calling about, like, calling calling that the correction is going to be over, you know, beginning of February. And I always thought that it was a little too early. I was always thinking sometime in March, like, beginning to mid-March. Um, and we're starting to like, hey, March is in all is only in like two days, right? So we're, we're beginning to start into that March March territory. Maybe that's part of the reason why my gut is also saying no that this is not going to happen right now. So you guys need to do your own analysis and and do what makes you feel feel best. What this whole thing tells me, right? This whole motive wave, this whole one, two, three, four, five, right here. What this tells me, it this this just tells me FOMO. It just that's the way it re it reads to me. Um, oh, thank you very much. Um, it just it just reads to me FOMO, you know. And then people are like taking profits, you know, all along here. And then and then someone runs it up, and then people are kind of like taking profits, you know. Um, it, that that that's just the way that's just the way. Like I said, it reads to me. So something else I want to show you too that we drew a long, 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 long time ago because you know. There is a bearish scenario here. There's definitely a bearish scenario, no no doubt. Okay, let's not forget, you know, where we are and how we and how we got here. Okay, boom, we were up here, and now we're kind of zigzagging through here. This call, call it whatever you want, channel, downward facing wedge, whatever it is you want to, whatever it is you want to call it. And a long time ago, we went ahead and we and and we started drawing lines. Um, f like this back here and you remember there was actually another one that we drew that was like this and what we were doing is we were measuring kind of the frothiness of how the, how frothy this this market got and where it really really should be on on a linear basis and one of the one of the one of the um, reasons why we do those types of types of you know analyses is to see well okay fine what type of trend lines also can we can we can we uh, draw? And for me, what makes a strong trend line are three points, and we have one, two, three. And so this also, uh, this line is very, very significant to what could happen if the market were to run down. Okay, and again, I re reiterate, we drew this a long, long time ago, um, and. In the event that this were to all fall apart, right, and you know, just leaving out, out, out aside Elliott wave theory right now and stuff like that, if you could just, if you could just grant me that uh, uh, for a few minutes here, if we just leave that aside and just say, if, if all of this fell apart, right, just think simply, real quick, if all this fell apart, where could it possibly be? Where is a super strong um, uh, 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 support? Well, this happens to be a very, very strong support, right? Where's another, this red line? Where's also another strong support? Well, obviously this blue line too, right? So in the event, like I said, something, this whole thing were to fall apart, we could possibly see this line coming into play, 
right? And if it comes into play and we continue to go through time, let's say this, let's say this were to come come down, you know, we got some sort of formation right here, it comes close to this red line, right? And then we and then we come up. So where where are we according to time? Okay. Say say we're somewhere over here. Well, this is kind of like like the second third week of of March, right? This is March 21st. So you know, it it, it kind of just it kind of just makes makes uh, sense for me. Uh, I don't know why. Again, I try, I want, I'll try to qu think about it more tonight, um, as to as it's more something more quantitative that I can show you guys uh, as as to why I f as to why I f I feel this way. Um, so yeah, I mean, all in all, on a one hour basis, we're actually sitting right on top of this level. No. Yes? No. 10,575. Yeah. Okay. So no, no, no. Sorry. We're not. I drew this. I drew this uh, after the after these. Okay. So yeah, yeah no, no. no. I, th I thought maybe this had come back down. My 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 mistake, my fault. So um yeah, so I drew this I drew this line. These two can these two candles are already here. I'm be, you know, full disclosure. Um this thing has this thing has run up. Possibly we're thinking maybe it'll come back down again. So uh, as far as a correction from a from a fifth wave perspective, this just doesn't seem to be significant again. Yes, I know there's a lot of bullish money coming into the market. Maybe it's going to make it run up, and maybe this is going to be all the correction, you know, complete correction, and and we're going to move this thing, move this, move up from here. And this is just a smaller uh, one, two, three, four, four, five wave of a much larger wave. Um, so yeah, I mean that 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 all very well, very well could be. We can map that out. Uh, we can map that out after this thing breaches, and it looks like it looks like it's breached, and it's going to continue to move on. Um, we, I would love to see at least on a day or a day or two where the close is 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 you know significantly above this line. All right, that that's really what's going to tell me you know at least a at least a six hour basis, right? That you have a few candles that significantly over over the over this diagonal uh, green line. So. I think we're going to leave it there for right now. Uh, it's enough of my ram rambling on of, of this evening. <laughs> and um, uh, happy trading. Speak to you guys soon. Thanks.